We have 10 minutes to smash our abdominals. We're gonna feel the burn, we're gonna work super hard. These types of shorter workouts are really good to lay with some of our other shorter workouts. This is perfect for all levels. If you feel like it's too hard, you can always hit the pause button, catch your breath, and then come back into it. If you like this class, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification as well so you can stay in tune with our workouts. Let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna get straight into it. Sitting on our bums, just reach your arms out in front of you, tuck your legs in towards your chest. We're gonna slowly come down to the ground, reach back and then come all the way back into that start position it's like a half teaser really good exercise to build a full teaser but if you can't do this stick with the roll up okay so that's not bringing the legs in okay we're just breathing into this make sure you're doing one breath per move I like to inhale up and exhale slowly down good when you're ready put the feet down and we're coming into a little abdominal crunch okay from side to side push the hands together push the feet down into the ground using your breath don't let your knees rock too much from side to side everything's coming from the waist and then we slowly roll all the way down and then roll all the way back up big stretch forward okay, normal roll up now picking up the pace a little bit only a short workout so we want to build some heat Good. As you come up, flex those feet, reach the hands over the toes, big stretch there. Keep going. Okay, now we're coming into another oblique twist. Lift up and touch the toes and twist. Good. If you can't come all the way up, okay, you can just do your best to come to where you can. Or you can come into a bicycle or a crisscross with the hands behind the head. Make sure this is not going into the lower back, okay? If you're feeling in the lower back, stick to a regression or even stick to the roll-up. Hands behind the head. Knees in towards the chest, legs up. Lower the legs down on the inhale, exhale, all the way back up. Inhale down, pull the abs in, legs go back up. Pushing your head and your body, your upper body, into the mat. Feeling that two-way push and pull. Leg goes down, bring it back up, and we switch. As one leg goes down, can you pull the other leg towards you, deep in your abdominal connection. Feeling that stretch on the back of the leg as well. Nice work. Stay with it. Okay, reach the hands up towards the toes. We're going to inhale up, try and touch the toes, and exhale slowly down. Inhale up, try and touch, and exhale slowly down. Just eye gaze to the feet. Holding it there and then coming all the way back down. When you're ready, coming up into a side plank position. Holding that side plank. Hips go down and up, little hip dips. Inhale down, exhale push. Make sure the shoulder and the elbow are stacked and you're really pushing with that forearm. Holding it there for a second. Breathing. And let's swivel around to your forearm plank. Forwards and backwards, okay? Forwards with the shoulders, push back into the heels, stretch the calves. Good, nice work. Okay, you're just holding that there, breathing. Okay, knees come down, and then you bring them back up into that long plank, okay? Knee taps. Good, 
Okay, sitting on your bum, let's swivel around to the other side, side plank on the other side. We start with those hip dips. Inhale down, exhale push. Legs are straight, do not bend the knees. Holding that there and breathing. Come down to that forearm plank, forwards and backwards. Forwards with the shoulders, push back into the heels. Holding that there and breathing. Long neck, come all the way down. Just lift up into a little up dog to stretch for a second. Stretching the abs. Slowly come down and back onto your back. Okay, and legs come up towards the ceiling again. Reach your arms up. We're gonna come into that crisscross again. You're know, reaching with the toes, reaching with the hands, trying to twist as much as you can from your obliques. Nice and slow and controlled. The more you twist, the more those obliques are going to be firing. Using your breath. Okay, and we're doing arm and leg circles. Arms go out, legs go out, and you circle around. Stay lifted, head and shoulders are lifted. Using your breath. And bring everything back in. One second here. Legs go up, arms up, and we're reversing the circles. And let the lower back lift from the mat. Everything's pulling down. And then resting on the mat for a second. Hands behind the head. And we curl up. So head comes to the knees. You're lifting your hips off the mat. And then you're coming all the way back down. So it's a lower abdominal crunch. Inhale, curl. Exhale, release. And we come into our crisscross from here, opening through the chest, thinking armpit to knee. Nice work, everyone. Stay with it. Okay, resting here for a minute. Just catch your breath. Okay, knees come in and we're coming into our double leg stretch. Reaching arms and legs away and then circling everything around. Inhale, reach everything away and then circle around. Everything's coming from the core. Come down, legs up. Arms reach up again. We're coming into our tuck and then slowly back down, legs up. Inhale, slowly rock up and slowly come down, coming from the ground up this time, not from the top down like we did at the start. Okay, coming onto our knees, hands behind the head. And we're stretching one way, grow nice and tall through the spine and then stretch the other way. So this lateral side stretch should feel good, but we're also working the obliques at the same time. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, come down. How far can you bend? In between two panes of glass, side to side. Nice work. Come into a little up dog stretch for a second there, and then pulling back into 
our shell stretch and just having a moment here. If you want to go again, please do have another round two on the abs. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next class.